we dive straight into a world on the brink. A brilliant scientist, Ye Wenji, witnessed a horrific event that shattered her faith in humanity. Years later, a fateful choice she makes ripples across time, impacting a group of present-day scientists. Episode 1. Countdown. The story opens with tragedy. Dr. Vera's promising project gets shut down, driving her to take her own life. Her colleague, Augie, is haunted by a mysterious countdown vision. A cryptic woman named Tatiana appears, offering a solution. Shut down your research, and the countdown disappears. We then travel back in time to witness Dr. Wenji working on a project to send signals into space. Red Coast Project. The episode ends with a chilling spectacle, the stars blinking in an unnatural pattern, just as Tatiana promised. Episode 2. Red Coast. The pressure mounts for Augie as the countdown ticks down. Following Tashina's advice, she dismantles her lab. We learn that many scientists have encountered this countdown, with some silenced and others ending up dead. Meanwhile, a flashback reveals a pivotal moment in 1977. Dr. Wenji receives a message from aliens, warning humanity not to respond. In a shocking act of defiance, she invites them to invade Earth. Episode 3. Destroyer of the World, another scientist dies under mysterious circumstances. Augie, Jin, and Saul stumble upon a strange VR game, Gold Mask Game, linked to the countdown. It becomes clear that the Santi, an alien race, are using the game to infiltrate Earth. However, their efforts are cut short when Jack, a scientist who refuses to believe the threat, is killed by Tatiana. Episode 4 our Lord, Jin, and Thomas convince a reluctant Dashai to attend a summit related to the countdown. The gathering takes a shocking turn when Dr. Wenji is revealed as the leader, welcoming the Santai's arrival in several centuries. The episode ends with Dr. Wenji's arrest during a police raid. The story takes a global turn as the threat becomes undeniable. Episode 5. Judgment Day. Thomas takes a ruthless approach using Augie's technology to destroy a ship carrying a leader who opposed Dr. Wenji. Meanwhile, Dr. Wenji is forced to listen to a message revealing the Santai's distrust of humans. Inside the VR game, Jin and Wade experience firsthand the Santai's power. The episode concludes with a horrifying message broadcasted by the Santi. You are bugs. Episode 6. The stars are destination. The Santai's message triggers chaos across the globe. Wade assembles a team to fight back, while Jin tries to recruit Augie, who is initially hesitant. Eventually, Augie joins the resistance. The fight for survival intensifies as humanity faces insurmountable odds. Episode 7. Only advance. Wade's plan to send a human brain into space via a staircase falls through. A desperate alternative emerges, sending Will's brain. This creates friction within the group. The Santi reach out to Tatiana, hinting at a possible betrayal. Episode 8. Wall Facer. The UN unveils Project Wall Facer, where three individuals will devise a secret plan to defeat the Santi. Wade's space mission fails and he receives a chilling warning from the Santi. Darshai's visit to Jin and Saul serves as a stark reminder of the immense challenge they face. Humanity is like bugs trying to fight back. The story ends with a sense of urgency and a looming threat. Despite the setbacks, the characters remain determined to find a way to save humanity. Decoding the ending, Saul's brush with death and a new mission. The final episode throws Saul into a whirlwind. After a near-fatal car accident, Dashai reveals a shocking truth. Self-driving cars targeted Saul, and Ye Wenji was murdered. Saul is whisked away to join the Wolf Facer Project, tasked with formulating a secret plan to defeat the Santi aliens. However, he can't share his strategy. The Santi can spy on Earth, but not read minds. Skeptical, Saul initially refuses, but is later shot by a Santi loyalist, saved only by his bulletproof vest. He remains determined to resign but the UN Secretary General hints at a greater purpose for him. Jin's grief and the Staircase Project's failure. Consumed by grief for Will, Jin throws herself into the Staircase Project, hoping to launch his brain into space and potentially bring him back. Her relationship with Raj suffers as she distances herself emotionally. Meanwhile, Tatiana, the woman who killed Ye, receives a VR headset from the Santi, hinting at a possible alliance. The Staircase Project fails. But hope lingers, Will's capsule is launched, with Saul witnessing the event. Jin and Saul share a tender moment, but Augie remains out of reach, focused on her humanitarian work. Despite initial success, the Staircase Project suffers an anomaly, 
sending Will's capsule off course and shattering their hope. Wade's ominous encounter on his flight home, Wade is confronted by the Santee avatar from the VR game. She expresses disappointment about the project's failure, but welcomes him, hinting at a role for him when they arrive. The plane encounters turbulence, and the avatar appears in person, delivering a chilling message. The Santee will always be watching and manipulating his reality. A countdown and a horrifying vision of himself flash before his eyes. A determined resolve, the series concludes, with Darshai taking Jin and Saul to a marsh teeming with bugs. He uses this analogy to illustrate humanity's predicament, facing a seemingly insurmountable challenge. However, his final words, let's get back, we've got work to do, leave a resolute tone despite the bleakness. Beyond the ending, the three-body problem, the in-game three-body problem, a chaotic system of three suns, isn't the main objective. Players attempt to solve it using human computers, but Jin reveals its impossibility without precise data. She discovers the true goal, saving the inhabitants of the planet during a devastating three-sun alignment. This concept, if one of us survives, we all survive, becomes a recurring theme, hinting that the game is more than just a game. It's a test of humanity's capacity for cooperation and survival.